Prince William is second in line to the throne, but a royal expert suggests he may be lackluster about his destiny and retire from the position early, as he never calls it a calling, which is significant because it indicates there's a retirement point. Royal expert Andrew Morton, who wrote a best-selling book about Prince William's mother Diana, argued that he could eventually voluntarily abdicate to allow his son to take over as monarch. He said, I think he will probably be the first king who voluntarily abdicates in favor of his son. The expert added, William always refers to his position as a job. It comes amid reports that Princess Eugenie could soon be pushed out of an important list due to her cousin Prince William. Princess Eugenie, 29, is one of the most popular members of the royal family, due to her down-to-earth approach. The princess is the granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip and daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. The royal is 10th in line to the British throne, but could soon disappear from the important list due to her cousins Prince William and Prince Harry. Prince William is, as the son of Prince Charles, the Queen's firstborn son, second in line to the succession of the British throne. If the Duke of Cambridge had another child with his wife Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, Eugenie would be pushed down the line of succession and out of the top 10 list. Prince William already has children Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1. This could also happen if Prince William's younger brother, Prince Harry, has another child with wife Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. Harry, who is sixth in line to the throne, welcomed his first child Archie Harrison in May this year and pushed Eugenie down to the tenth place on the list. Should Harry and Meghan have another child, that would also lead to Eugenie being removed from the top 10 list. The higher a royal born is in the line of succession, the more rules have to be followed. Although Eugenie is still in the top 10 list, it is actually the top 6 who are under stricter rules. William was educated at four schools in the UK and studied for a degree at the University of St Andrews. During a gap year, he spent time in Chile, Belize, and Africa. In December 2006, he completed 44 weeks of training as an officer cadet and was commissioned in the Blues and Royals Regiment. In April 2008, William completed pilot training at Royal Air Force College Cranwell, then underwent helicopter flight training and became a full-time pilot with the RAF Search and Rescue Force in early 2009. His service with the British Armed Forces ended in September 2013. He then trained for a civil pilot's license and spent over two years working as a pilot for the East Anglian Air Ambulance. In 2011, Prince William was made Duke of Cambridge and married Catherine Middleton. Prince William went to school in Eton. This went against the family tradition of sending royal children to Gordonstown, which William's grandfather, father, two uncles, and two cousins all attended. Diana's father and brother both attended Eton.